Okay, today we're going to be talking about steroids and prosthetics. Um, even though these two things don't really necessarily go together, they're both relevant to the skeletal and muscular systems, or the systems we're covering right now. So I went ahead and kind of put them together in sort of a lecture where we could learn a little bit about each of them. Now steroids are a synthetic substance, meaning that it's man-made. Um, there are two main types or categories that we're going to cover. One is anabolic steroids. Um, this is the type of steroids that are used to build body tissue. Um, so when you think of athletes who abuse steroids, it's anabolic steroids specifically that they're abusing. Um, the other type of steroid is a corticosteroid. Um, these are commonly prescribed by doctors for things um, like anti-inflammatory and other things like that. Um, for instance, if you have asthma and you have an inhaler, many of those are steroid inhalers. Um, also, if you've ever had an allergic reaction to something, a lot of times you'll get prescribed prednisone or some sort of cortisone type drug, and that's a corticosteroid as well. Now there's a variety of side effects that are associated with steroid abuse. Um, you can see a ton of the listed there. Uh, now when I say females become more masculine, one of the side effects for females is that um, they will grow facial hair or have a deeper voice. And of course males becoming more feminine, in this case what I'm referring to is the fact that a lot of times men will have enlarged breasts and also their testicles will get smaller. Now we're totally switching gears and switching over to prosthetics. This is some sort of artificial body part. And there's a variety of reasons that somebody might need a prosthetic. Amputation, birth defects, diabetes, sometimes you get blood clots and things like that. Various injuries, car accidents, war, you name it. Tons and tons of reasons why a person might need a prosthetic. Now typically when you think of prosthetics, you think of a fake arm, fake leg, or some other limb. And that's true, those are prosthetics. Um, but really any type of fake organ or body part is a prosthetic. So for example, I have a bridge in my mouth. Well technically that's a prosthetic, right? It's a fake tooth. Um, and there's been tons of advancements in this field over time. We watch a video in here where it shows war veterans from the early 1800s, or 1900s, excuse me, um, having limbs hand carved for them out of wood. But now they're getting much, much more advanced where you're getting different robotics and hydraulics and things like that. 